this lesson we're going to be preparing our mesh to take over to Mudbox. Right now we've got our low poly mesh that we did the UV layouts on. What we're going to do is just a little bit of cleanup on here. So we've got some construction history. We need to freeze transformations and center our pivots. And this allows us to have a clean bake. We're going to be uh, baking out the high poly uh, onto the low poly inside of Substance Designer and uh, the high poly mesh is going to come from our sculpt inside of Mudbox. So let's go ahead and uh, start uh, by first selecting our mesh and we're going to put on those existing materials that we created in a previous lesson. So I'm going to put on the blend uh, for the blade, also the handle, I'm just right mouse clicking and coming down and selecting handle blend. I'm going to clean up the construction history. I've got shortcuts out here on my shelf. We can also come under Edit, Delete by Type History. Uh, we can freeze the transformations again on here. It's always just, uh, you know, just follow through with this. If I hit W on the keyboard, this is my uh, pivot point right here. I want to make sure this is centered on the mesh. So I'm going to come under Modify, Center Pivot, and it did just move a little bit right there. Okay, let's do the same thing with the blade. We're going to delete the construction history, freeze transformations, and I'm going to come under modify and center pivot. Okay, so we've got that done. So this is our low poly mesh. What I want to do is just save these off here. I'm going to duplicate them. So I just selected both. I'm doing control D. It's duplicating them. I'm going to take these two and just hit H and hide them. And this is going to be our uh, export for Mudbox. So I'm just putting an exp mud. So I know I'm going to be exporting these out. And uh, for the blade, we're going to have to come around here and create some edge loops to create uh, some hard edges on here. If we hit three on our keyboard, we can see this goes fairly soft, and we. Uh, we'll be subdividing over on Mudbox, and this is exactly what's going to happen over there if we don't put in some tension lines to keep our hard edges. So back to one here. Let's use our Insert Edge tool, and I'm just going to click and drag and uh, take this back fairly close, something like that. I'm going to come across the top here, do the same thing, about equal distance. Okay. And uh, it gets a little tricky down here because we're going to have to draw this in. Uh, I do want to create one along uh, the edge right here of the blade. Okay, and at this point we're probably going to have to uh, we can get these in right here. So let's let's create these. So these go all the way around, and we're going to do one over here. And we can see what they're doing if we uh, zoom in very close here and take a look. We can see they are coming to a point here, but they're also running, uh, we've actually got three edges right here. Uh, so when this is happening right here and you're seeing uh, your geometry uh, disappear, that's a clipping plane. I'm going to hit Q and get out of that. If I select the perspective camera and I go to the attributes of that, under near clipping plane, it defaults at point 0.1. Just click on there and drop in a couple zeros, and that should correct that. Okay, you should be able to zoom in a little tighter now. Okay, so we've got uh, three edges going up along here, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and just select vertices right here. I've got my heads up display showing three vertices. To get that, it's under display, heads up display, and come down to poly count. This is always a good thing to have up. So I can see I've got three vertices stacked on top of each other. And uh, let's close that out. Select those again. Three vertices. I'm going to merge those into one. So then we can see that it's gone down to one. And that's going to be happening at every uh, edge right here. We're going to just have to merge those three vertices. So again, I've got three. I'm going to merge those down. and. Same thing here, merging those, and the last one up here on top, actually we've got two because we created a, another edge loop right here, and uh, 
that. And the final one right here. Uh, so this is just showing one, which is correct, because uh, it uh, stopped right here from our previous uh, edge loop. And now what we need to do is uh, draw with our multi-cut tool under our uh, modeling toolbox. We're going to draw across here. So I've got symmetry on an object X. I'm going to I'm going to start here on the uh, the corner and come across to here. So I'm clicking, holding the left mouse button down and dragging. Okay, to here. And this is actually going to cross underneath. So I'm going to come to the center point right here, and you can see it making a connection. And then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, start from this corner right here and start coming across. And an edge coming across here, so we're going to have to wrap it around this edge. So I want to make sure it comes up to here. And then again, it's going to come across to the center point or the center line right there. Okay, then I'm going to start here on this corner. Click and drag, I'm trying to keep them fairly equal distance. Okay, and then I'm coming across here. And we will come back and merge those vertices for the triangles. Alright, and across the bottom here, I can probably go to here. And then here. And we want to take that to the center. So I hit F there and it kind of sent it backwards the wrong direction. And trying to get it to the center point. So it's not cooperating. I'm just going to end it there. So actually, no, it did. It made a connection right there. All right, so you want to make sure you've got a connection happening right here. Okay. I'm just going to hit Q to end that process and come out here and address some of our kind of little loose ends. So let's start by merging these vertices here. And it should be doing both sides. So I'm just going to merge vertices. The threshold needs to be bumped up a little bit, so I'm just clicking and dragging slightly. Okay, and just enough to bring those. If you keep going, it's going to start merging the two across, which we don't want. So about there. Okay, so uh, this one's okay, and here's another triangle we want to eliminate. So we're going to merge those and just drag the threshold up a little bit. Same thing here. Bumping up the threshold, and I think that's it for our triangles. Okay, so we've got a couple edges that we still need to uh, connect across here. I'm just going to come back, select this, and hit H so we can see what we're doing. So we're uh, connecting this edge across here. So I'm going to grab this and turn off Object X and click on here. We actually want to go to Vertex. And so I'm going to uh, come across here by just selecting the Multi-Cut tool selecting this vertice and going over to here, hitting enter. Okay, that makes that connection. We've got one more under here that needs to get drawn across. So I'm going to select this one and go all the way across to here, hit enter. Q to end that process and just checking to make sure that everything's lined up. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go back to object mode, hit 3 on the keyboard, and we'll just take a look at what the mesh is doing now. Okay, so we've got our supporting edges in, and I want to just come up here to the front and make sure we don't have anything unusual going on. So we do have some uh, triangles right here. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, see what's going on down here, if it's mirroring and doing the same. So it is, and let's just go to vertex here. So we've got um, these little uh, points here that are kind of pulling back. So I think 
they will be okay once they're smooth. Uh, let's come back here, select this. I want to turn on uh, just the checkerboard inside here since we eliminated our checkerboard text. We've got a little bit of stretching going on under here. Um, we may want to just uh, redo that real quickly. This is looking fairly good. So let's uh, just go ahead and grab this mesh right here. And uh, I have since uh, bumped up to uh, 2017 update 4. And uh, I'm missing a lot of the tools here. Um, it's actually under, if we switch over here and go to UV editing, uh, this is a little bit better layout here. So I've got the UV editor over here and then the UV toolkit. And a lot of the tools I was using in the previous version are just uh, stacked under here. So our, our unfold is right here. We can still come over here and shift right mouse click. It's just in a different location. So it's over here at 9 o'clock. It was previously up here. So I'm just going to do this and select unfold. And it looks like it corrected a lot of that. So that looks much cleaner. We just need to come over here and rotate it. And uh, we can do that. Uh, see where they did the transform here. So yeah, so under transform we've got some tools here for rotating. Okay, these are the same tools before. So I just rotated it once and we're going to just scale it down a little bit and move it up here. Scale it down a little more. And I'm just going to check out here. So just a little too far. There we go sliding that back to here and just getting that back in place. Alright, so that looks much better. Uh, there's a tiny bit of stretching right here. I'm not too worried about that. I think overall it's looking pretty clean. Alright, and I'm going to save my scene. So save scene as and I'm just going to take this up to version 3 and I'm going to switch back to Maya Classic and get our layout right here. Alright, so we've got that and then I'm just going to turn the handle on here and I think we are ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and export these. I'm going to come under File, Export Selection, and we're going to save these out as an OBJ. So if the OBJ is not showing up in here, this is actually a plugin. Uh, we've got the Maya ASCII and binary, and then a lot of these are just plugins. And you can find them under our uh, Settings and Preferences Plugin Manager. And scroll down, there are alphabetical orders. So OBJ export, just go ahead and check loaded and auto load and close that up. And you should see that coming up now. Okay, so just make sure you've got that selected, and I'm going to uh, call this one Handle Export MUD version 02. I'll make that 03. I've got an 02 in there already. And I'm going to grab the blade now and do the same thing. So Export Selection. Grab that and version up. All right, so we do have a different scale over here. We're working in centimeters. If we look at our settings here, we've been uh, working in the default centimeters, and Mudbox is set up in meters. So we're going to have to scale it up a uh, hundred times once we get it over there. But let's uh, go ahead and just wrap this up here, and we'll come back in the next lesson and start working in Mudbox.